I want to welcome everyone to this very, very special event, the return of the Hubble basketball to the Ratner Gym after a five million mile journey to the Hubble Space Telescope and back. And this is literally an event that could only happen at the University of Chicago, where we can claim an alumnus who's a star athlete, we'll hear more about that later, and a star scientist. Amos Alonzo Stagg brought basketball to the University of Chicago in 1893. So we were early adopters of uh, basketball. The balls in those days uh, were a little different than they are today. They resembled a soccer ball. And what they were was a pig bladder. Um, I don't know where we got the pig bladders around here. And the pig bladder had a valve where you could inflate it. And then to protect the pig bladder was a leather cover which was stitched up uh, with the stitches that you can see there. And these balls uh, were not very good for bouncing. You have to remember the dribble was very new in those days. And often at halftime, uh, they would undo the stitching, undo the laces, and reinflate the ball. Up until 1924, it was believed by most astronomers that the nebulous things that we recognize as galaxies were actually rather close to where we live and part of our own galaxy. In 1923, Edwin Hubble looked at an image of the Andromeda galaxy and noticed that there were little faint dots that were not there in previous images. He looked at these thousands of little dots that was on the photographic plate, and he was prepared enough to notice that one of those thousands of dots were not in previous photographs of the Andromeda Nebulae and he realized that that was a variable star, and that was the key to unlocking the determination of the distance to galaxies. Hubble was, was quite a guy and quite a student athlete. I think it's worth repeating that uh, he played on a national championship team. Uh, he was a forward on the Maroons basketball teams, particularly the teams of 1908 and 1909. And uh, during that time, he played with uh, two All-American basketball players. To put those accomplishments in context, that's like a world-renowned scientist now playing for uh, the University of North Carolina basketball team. It is really remarkable to think about that and the balance this young man struck between academics and athletics. We are, of course, extremely proud that alumni of the University of Chicago go on to a variety of careers. Some in academia, some become professors, some go into industry, some go into government service. We regard them all as stellar or brilliant, but there's only one of whom we can say this alumnus is uh, out of this world, and that's our honoree today, John Grunsfeld. Uh, and we often think of scientists as being sometimes selfish, but increasingly science and technology uh, and in fact good citizenship is a collaborative effort. And especially at that time with uh, the other astronomers of the time, it was an extremely competitive business and it, it became very personal. Um, but at least on the basketball court, uh, Hubble appreciated and, and while at the University of Chicago the importance of, of being a team. And at NASA, we have tens of thousands of people working on the space shuttle on the Hubble Space Telescope program. And, you know, any one person not being a part of that team can bring the whole thing down. And Rocky, I'm going to pass you the ball. Thank you very much Thank you, John. for entrusting Thank you. me with the ball. Um, we have a couple of uh, official items. I've brought back a, a plaque with the flown United States flag. And also, I have a, a certificate of authenticity. Uh, the 30th flight of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, this 1909 Hubble basketball was flown for the University of Chicago aboard the United States Space Shuttle Atlantis to the Hubble Space Telescope, launched on uh, May 11th from pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, returning May 24th, Edwards Air Force Base, having traveled 197 orbits, 17,800 miles an hour, and 5,276,000 miles, approximately. So uh, thank you very much again.